Hi, it's Michelle Stone with Michelle Stone Masterpieces. And I am here today um, coming to you to do an emotional color wheel. Um, it's Tuesday. And so I'll do this week, I'll do them on Tuesday and Thursday. And then on Sunday, the 31st, I'm going to start the 100 day challenge. So I'd very much love for you to be part of this and show me what your, um, your emotional color wheels are going to include. So um, please join me. Um, I did get a question yesterday, not yesterday, actually over the weekend, where someone asked me, you know, why are you going to do 100 days worth of emotional color wheels? And I'll tell you, um, that's a whole lot of emotional literacy. That is, it, it's, it will help you get to know yourself better and help you get to regulate your emotions better and manage stress better and um, deal with things that happen in your life better. And so why am I gonna do 100? Because it will help me as much as it helps you. So, and also um, it, it's just like any other practice, just like exercise, just like um, learning how to drive a car, how to learning how to cook, anything brand new. The more practice you get, the not the more perfect because you know none of us are ever perfect, but the um, the more well versed you'll get and the more practiced you'll get. So let's go ahead and start. All right. So here is my paper, and my I have a mat board that I put underneath. So um, here's my mat board, and here is my circle that I like to use from my my um, my oval tin can and my ruler. So I'm gonna do whoops. I also use my oval tin can to to put my my shavings in so <laughs> um all right so i'm gonna do um let's see i think i'm gonna do 12 today so there and there again when you're drawing out these lines um they do not have to be perfect uh, there's no expectation for of that um just do your best and And that'll be just, that'll be great. So, all right, so there we go. I have my, my 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So then I'm going to come up here and do my six squares. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, okay. Um, there you go. So you can see that better. All right. So I am, I'm feeling, I did a really nice meditation today. So I'm feeling aligned. <laughs> if that makes any sense, I'm feeling content. Um, hopeful, optimistic, grateful, appreciation, um, concern. Let's see, what else am I feeling? So I have five more to fill in. What am I feeling? Um, determined. Resolve. Um, 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 um. Let's see, resolve, determined. Um, Optimistic, grateful, appreciation. What else am I feeling today? Um, hopeful, content. You know, sometimes you need a little bit of help. So let me go to my, my little cheat sheet over here. 
Happy, yep. Acceptance. And courage. Okay. So there's that. And here are my colored pencils. I've got some that are already out. And then I've got my my box right here. That's probably another 36 of them. So let's see. Okay. Um, aligned. I've never, not that I've never felt that, but I've never been able to identify that. That's really interesting. What does that even look like? I think it looks like this one. Huh. Yeah, I'm content. And again, whenever I'm pulling out, if you're new to my channel, um, what I'm doing is I'm tapping into an emotional color, like I'm tapping into my feelings and then I'm associating a color with them. And that color does not have to be the same every day. It can be um, different every time you do it. And if you do this kind of thing two and three times a day, it's it can still be different colors. So right now I just, I looked at, I read the word hopeful. I remembered that moment of, or those moments of feeling hopeful. And so I kind of looked at the colors to see what, um, what that felt like. And it felt like this color yellow, this golden yellow. So optimistic to me feels like this orange right now. Grateful is this purple. Oops. And sometimes that happens. Sometimes I need to sharpen my pencils a little bit more. So let me do that real quick. And so if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, go ahead and do that now. Oh my goodness. Um, and click the little bell so every time I do these videos that you'll get to you'll get to see me on them and and then you can comment. And so like this week I am I'm gonna do them on Tuesday and Thursday, and then starting on Sunday, I'm gonna do one every day for a hundred days. Um, appreciation. What does appreciation look like? <sighs> Appreciation. Let me get this color purple. This is lavender. And even if they're similar colors, go ahead and fill them in because that's just the way that you felt at that moment. Concern. What does concern look like to me right now? Um, this one. Terracotta. Okay, so there's that. I'm determined. Mm, determined is this one. Resolve is. Let's hope that's black. Resolve is like this dark blue right here. Yeah. Happy. Happy is this pink. Oh yeah. I like that. That's a really cool color. Acceptance. Acceptance feels like this. What color is this? Mint green. And courage. Dark, dark blue. Oh yeah, different, different vibes. Okay, 
so that's that for right now. So now the next part of this process is, is that I go to, I start off and, and I put my colors in order. So I know that they're going to go around like that and start off here and then go around. Um, and so I'm going to feel into that feeling of being aligned, aligned with my higher purpose. Um, some people call it the reason that you're being here. Some people call it your soul's purpose. I am, I'm really leaning into that today. So in that, ooh, that's a new feeling for, not a new feeling, it's probably an older feeling, but a new recognition for me. So um, yeah, I can even feel it in my body. Okay, so contentment. Content feels, and um, again, like right here, I actually went outside the line. And so if you feel your feelings and, and you feel that they just, you know, that as you're kind of leaning into them, and when I say lean into them, I just, you can, I mean it metaphorically, but if you, you've got a visual of yourself like leaning into an emotion, that works too. Um, sometimes it fills up the whole space, it even goes beyond. And sometimes it just fills up a little bit. So I like to at least fill in the entire piece of pie. And then if it goes beyond that, that's okay. So hopeful. Yeah. That's just a little bit beyond the hopeful part. Um, optimistic. You know what? This optimistic feels, my optimism feels a whole lot bigger than just that little piece of pie. And I'm just doing this on regular copy paper. Grateful. Yes, lots of gratitude. That feels big. My gratitude feels really big. You know, it's funny, I'm, I'm just realizing, usually I do these kind of color wheels on, um, on artist paper, and, and I don't have to hold them down, so I apologize for that. Uh, maybe I'll do it on um, artist paper going forward. Appreciation. So appreciation also feels pretty big. Yeah, it does. Okay. And then concern. <sighs> this is one of those things that like, as soon as I acknowledge it, you heard me take that breath right there. That's, that's called a body breath. And that's like, wow, I'm acknowledging it. And as soon as I acknowledged it, it, was, it got smaller. It felt smaller. So determined. Yeah, that feels big too. I may have to sharpen my pencil. Yep, that feels real big. Sometimes when you're doing these kind of things, they um, it, the the there feels like they need to. There's more underneath it. Um, so I have uh, lots of therapeutic art practices that could help dive into that if you're interested. So if you're ever interested in something like that, shoot me a message, and um, and we can talk about it because. Sometimes this just is the tip of the iceberg and there's a lot more to process. Um, the next one is resolve. So resolve feels nice and solid. But it doesn't feel big. It just feels nice and solid and just like There we go. Good. 
um, happy, yeah. <laughs> happy feels big. Happy feels off the paper. Yep. All right, what's next? Acceptance. Okay. Acceptance feels, doesn't feel so big. It just feels kind of like there. Like I, like once I acknowledge it and I accept it, then I'm like, okay, I got it. And then the last one is courage. That kind of feels, let me, let me feel into it. I have to like start coloring in order to like feel, I mean, not have to, but courage just, courage also feels nice and solid. So there you go. There is today's emotional color wheel. I did 12 of them. So you notice that some of them moved beyond. Um, some of them didn't, and that's perfectly fine. Um, that's completely up to you. So again, if you have not had an opportunity to do this yet, go ahead and subscribe. Um, my next video I will post on Thursday. And then after that, I will post uh, again on Sunday. And then I'll start in with a 100 day challenge. So if you have any questions, please post them below. And um, remember, uh, color the residue of your day away. I'll see you later.